Okay, this is going to be an honest review impressions of EA F124 in virtual reality. I'm in my Pimax Crystal headset on an RTX 4090 graphics card on PC. So it's all top of the range graphics. And there's some things that I quite like. Firstly, when I'm using the wheel, it's really easy to bind the reset headset position. That is such an important feature in VR racing, arguably the most important feature. So it's cool to see they've really prioritized that. Also, some of the detail is insane. Like under the tire warm on the left hand side, I can see the shininess of the um, soft tire there. It's really accurate. And then the carbon fiber wheel guard and the reflection of that is great. My suit, the weave on it, really detailed. See the weave going through the flag and everything. Really nice suit. Reminds me of GT7 on PSVR2. Also has good suits. But, I mean, the graphic, the blurriness of the, the jaggedness, the lack of anti aliasing. In the distance is so bad there's some insane movement like this guy's skin it's moving the logos on his sleeve are moving this guy on the camera like all of him's moving i don't know if they're trying to do some sort of um like heat haze effect or something but i feel like obviously the assets are there great quality but they just it's so it's the one of the worst experience i've had sat in a cockpit when it's coming to like the smoothness of the experience around me ACC, completely stable. Eye racing generally completely stable. Sometimes you get shimmering. This is really not good. But let's see anyway how it's going to be in a race. I'm on the controller because I couldn't get F1 to, to map my Fanatec, Moser and uh, Asher racing combination here. And I'm doing some weird gear changing. I wish I hadn't mapped the gears to the thumbstick. I'm going to really regret that. But how is it then? They say this game is designed okay, for a gamepad anyway. I mean, I have to say, like, the cars just absolutely disappear into sort of blurriness. By the way, this is my first time using a this sort of gear shift um, on the thumbstick here in my life, probably. And I can see how this game is made for, for a gamepad. Goodness me. It reminds me of Forza Motorsport. You know what, because I'm on a controller, I might actually just put this to uh, man to automatic gear, so I'm not very good at using this to... Uh... Oh, it is automatic. So I didn't press anything. Okay, great. I'm just making it worse. I mean, the, la the, the, qu the lack of the quality as the car's going the distance is absolutely insane. Was that meant to be tyre smoke? And this is running on high settings. I'm going to show you. The tyres look really good. It's just stuff in the distance is just absolutely appalling. It is really bad. The handling is also a little bit insane. I don't know if this is my first race. There's some assist on here, but like... DRS now enabled. DRS this, is, enabled. this is basically just completely an arcade game. I've got to be honest from my first experience. But I'm not talking about the handling here. We will get my mad wheel combination working and try it on a wheel. But right now, if I was an esports driver, I'd probably want to use... I mean, look at going over that grass and everything like it didn't exist. Nicely, the helicopter. Dive up the inside, maybe. Yep. Yeah. Oh, no, maybe not. It was probably Ocon who hit us. Ocon, mate! Collision with Ocon, they'll give him a penalty. There we go. He's clearly turned in. It's not as um juddery as I was fearing, but I'm pretty much dead straight with my vision. Well, yeah, when I move around, I don't know if it's coming across, but oh dear me. I mean that's really nice in the tire there. I can see the grass like on the tire. That's much more realistic and there's much more clarity there than there is in eye racing. What? I lost my front wing or something. I tell you what, when you're locked in place, it's, it's actually it's actually quite stable when you're locked in. Like that mirror there is really stable, but as soon as you move, I show you my system. Go away. I show you my uh, settings here, so you can see in VR. So, we've got blow, uh, all that off, blah, 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 120 hertz. 
that's my resolution. And we've also got what do we have in graphics? Where are graphics? What am I doing? Graphics setting. It's all VR high. High, 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 high. All of that stuff. <clears throat> no chroma chro chromatic aberration. I wouldn't want any more sort of degradation done on the quality here. I mean, it's, it's, I don't want to say it's unplayable, but there's hardly any viewable pixels, like 20 meters in front of my car, honestly. It's really not good. Like I said, this is just my honest impressions. I haven't been given this copy for free. Again, I like the tyre there. That's really detailed. I feel like they have a really aggressive um, level of detail going on. And in fact, you know what I want to do? I want to lower the VR setting. Look at the damn... Oh, sorry. I was, I was resting on my pedals there, which, <laughs> like I said, the game just isn't able to recognise all the different inputs. What I want to do is I want to change these settings here. Hopefully this is interesting to watch. I want to... Ah, okay. Weirdly, in some ways, like, medium looks better. Is there an ultra? Okay, there's an ultra. I don't know why I've got AMD, because I've got, a, I've got a, um NVIDIA graphics card, so... Okay, so let's try that. Let's restart and see how that does. Is it going to be any better with these ultra high settings? The answer is definitely no. It's still super muddy. It's not that wheel sort of, there's a bit more. My bad. I don't think that's super aggressive traction control, by the way, or it's just like pad things. But it just obviously cuts out the power so you don't spin. If you're not racing, I'd be dead about 83 times by now. Lock on, mate. Is this any better? I mean, the car itself, I say everything you can see on the car is pretty good. It's the outside environment that's absolutely shocking. It's so bad. It feels like a Game Boy Advance game, honestly. Again, I don't know if that's meant to be tire smoke. Just moving the head around is not a fun experience. It's not fun. Yeah, I mean, let's pause it here, maybe. The car looks great. The car looks really good. Even the paddock club there looks fine, pretty much. But it's just, if I, um... Oh, I can't, it won't let me look. Pause another way. But just stuff in the distance is just really bad. And it just doesn't do well with small details like these. Uh, this grid fence is just done really badly. So there we go. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hope you enjoyed it. What's your experience? Some more VR videos around here and I'll see you next time.